Have you ever thought? When we were kids, it was so easy for us to say no to anything. But as and when we grow up, it becomes difficult. Yes, saying no is a difficult job for sure. Let us learn how to master this art of saying no. Hi, I'm Kirti Bajaj, a certified 8 years experienced soft skills trainer and English language enhancement coach. I train in both corporates and individuals. My expertise include time management, communication skills, presentation skills, personality development and so on. I will list them down in the description box and you can check them. Well, why is it so difficult to say no? Are we scared of losing a relationship or we will be judged selfish or rude or criticized, don't want people to dislike us and if something has come up from the seniors, then we definitely don't want to miss the opportunity to impress them, isn't it? But what are the end results of saying yes to everything? We are overwhelmed, we are stressed, we are frustrated, angry, or we also sound bitter sometimes. Five points to remember while you're saying no. The first is be clear. If you mean a no, it is a no. It is neither a yes nor a maybe. Or if you are confused, you can tell them that you will get back to them after some time. Give them the timeline and follow that. So when you say you will come back, do go back to them. Number two is be concise. If you beat around the bush, it becomes more difficult to the receiver to digest a no. So be very clear. You can use some phrases like, Oh, my diary is full right now. I cannot take it up or I am not interested or I'm not able to take it right now. Maybe I can do it sometime later. So don't over justify, over explain or be over apologetic because you cannot please everybody in the world. Point number three is appreciate. Appreciate the fact that the receiver has come to you thinking that you can do or you can help them in some or the other way. So say thank you for considering you. But at the same time, you can clearly say no. Point number four is be genuine. Now that you have learned the art of saying no, doesn't mean you can say no to anyone and everyone. Be very genuine. Justify, have a backup why you are saying no. It has to be so strong that the receiver can digest it. Point number five, share an alternate solution to it. It is one of the most important pointers amongst the five and my favorite too. If someone has come to you for some help and you cannot do it, it is absolutely okay until you can tell them or show them an alternate way of completing that task. So if you cannot do it, maybe someone else in the team can do it. Or if you cannot do it, you can suggest someone who can really do this task. So those were our five pointers to remember while saying no. It is tough only till you start doing it. Once you get a hang of it, it becomes as easy as ABC. Do you know what are the benefits of saying no? One, it creates a room to say yes. Two, you work effectively on your priorities. Three, you become more honest and hence you are more reliable, authentic, trustworthy and definitely definitely it reduces unwanted stress so learn and practice this art of saying no i hope you like the video so please please click on the like button share and subscribe oh yes don't forget to hit the bell icon contact me for any of the corporate or individual assignments the contact details are given in the description box below See you with the next video very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.